Let's talk a little bit about this program. The Horizon H2GP is a global school-based science and engineering program that provides students with hands-on experience in designing, engineering, and racing remote control fuel cell electric vehicles powered by hydrogen. Students taking part gain enjoyable, employable skills in science and technology while also developing competence in critical thinking, creativity, and teamwork. At the end of the program, students are well equipped for a variety of careers in renewable energy. Last call, energy. loop check, please. Let's meet our teams. Yesterday, after the two separate two-hour qualifiers, car number 16, Oakwood Pink from the USA, is your TQ and top qualifier, followed by team 45, Team Bulgaria from Bulgaria. Coming in in team three. Team 42. Team 42, loop check. Team 86. Team 86, loop check. In our third position, from the Netherlands, car number 42, Summer H2 Racing. Team in 86. In fourth, we have from the USA, team car number 86, Team Waldorf. Me. Okay, this is last loop check. Last loop check. We are about to go green. Okay, drivers, we are about to go green. Ready? Three, two, one, and go! Now, going off for their parade lap. Oh, they have started, so. That looks like actually Team Bulgaria out front. And I, I was right, Team Bulgaria was talking to their pilot. He actually races RC as a hobby there in Bulgaria, 1-8 scale, on-road and off-road. He's applying these driving skills, but there's Oakwood Pink right out to a lead right off the bat. So these were our two fastest cars yesterday, one and two. Bulgaria does not want to let that Oakwood Pink get too far in front of him. They kind of just want to hold on, chase him down. Don't allow him to get too many, too, don't let that car allow him to get too many laps out in front. As they navigate through some lap traffic early out, Oakwood Pink able to hold up that pace for two hours yesterday. We did not see them slow down one bit. So that car is highly efficient, lots of work. Lots of diagnostics and analysis going into this car to make it uber efficient. Great presentation by this team, but we see that Bulgaria team able to match them lap by lap. That those RC racing skills come in, in hand in handy for Team Bulgaria. But this is a battle of attrition, six hours of racing. Can they keep this pace up for six hours? We shall see. As they are matching each other lap for lap, they are actually Bulgaria is two tenths of a second back of Oakwood Pink. And there we go, they're gonna have a, there we go, Bulgaria takes the lead as Oakwood Pink gets in an accident. Lap traffic might come into play and Oakwood Pink takes back that lead. Lap traffic allowing these cars to pass each other. We see one driver frantically waving on the driver's stand. But Bulgaria not letting Oakwood Pink get too far, too far in front of them. But Bulgaria was very, they used quite a lot of hydro sticks yesterday, so I don't know how long they can keep up this pace. We know that Oakwood Pink can keep up this pace for at least two hours. I believe they got 45 minutes on a hydro stick yesterday. Bulgaria not so efficient, so he will have to make up for that with his driving skills. And as he takes the lead, as Oakwood Pink makes a mistake, and it goes back to Oakwood Pink, as they zip around this lap traffic, they've already put a lap on the field. In third is the car number 21 of the Temasek Racers. Fourth, the car 73, and fifth, car 72. But Oakwood Pink and Bulgaria just swapping leads right out here in the first three minutes of this race. And Bulgaria gets tied up in some lap traffic, and that's gonna cost him valuable tenths of seconds. But that team, Bulgaria team, car is looking very good out there, very fast. 
We see Oakwood Pink, Pink looks like they made a mistake as they go past the Swiss car, which was also a very fast car yesterday, but suffering many gremlins and as well as penalties. But these two cars, Team Bulgaria coming out swinging, letting Oakwood Pink know that they cannot run away with this. As they take the lead once again, great driving by Team Bulgaria. Going on the inside of Pink Hawk, coming up on a car that looks very similar to his, similar paint job. Very good driving by Team Bulgaria. This is where they're going to have to make up their, their time and efficiency with their driving skills. Applying a lot of his 1-8 scale nitro on-road and off-road skills from racing in Bulgaria. Switzerland and Austria and various other countries in Europe. Looking very dialed out there right now with that green and white and red car. Wingless car that chose to go with auto wing. And Oakwood Pink, he has a 6.4 second lead over Oakwood Pink at this moment. But it's five minutes, just about five minutes on in this six hour race. At some point, Bulgaria is going to have to go into conservation mode and save some of their hydro sticks. And he wants to build up a lead so that doesn't affect them as much as he zips by the orange wedge shaped car of Team Netherlands who had an exciting second place finish yesterday. Pink Hawk is already in the pits. They've only done one lap, unfortunately for them, having technical difficulties right off the bat. But no technical dif difficulties for Bulgaria as they are flying right now. Let's see what the lead is when they come past the, when P Oakwood Pink comes past the loop. Pulled out to an immense lead so far, 6.2 seconds. They have got that Mugen chassis dialed out there right now. But can they keep up this pace for six hours? That will be the question. Team Bulgaria driving very smooth out there, hitting their apexes. Very little steering input, smooth transitions, using as little power as possible. Driving very efficiently, maneuvering around this lap traffic, which is going to be something they have to deal with every lap. Great pass by Team Bulgaria, avoiding a mishap. And he has put two laps now on Oakwood Pink. So not sure what's going on with Oakwood Pink. Maybe they are... Oh, Oakwood Pink has come in for a hydro stick change early. We saw them go 45 minutes yesterday. And with six minutes on, they've come in for a hydro stick change already. Oh, no. So maybe a change in strategy. But I, that's still quite a short time to go in really? for a hydro stick change. Yeah, I mean, they went... I don't know, they went a long time with on one stick yes. yesterday. At this same pace, so not sure what happened, maybe maybe just happened so oh, oh and Bulgaria gets clipped by a, some lap traffic and he's on his lid and that's gonna cost him a lot of time. Let's have a replay of that. He gets tagged, yep, he gets tagged by the uh, Hydro PBIS team. They'll have to stop and wait, but the damage is already done to Team Bulgaria. And that be it birds well for Oakwood Pink. Really want to know what happened with them coming in and getting a hydro stick change so early. Lots of racing left to go with, early, with five hours and 53 minutes left in this endurance race at the H2 Grand Prix here in Las Vegas.